Last July, I went on my first backpacking trip through Anso Adams Wilderness. We spent two nights and three days walking through this designated wilderness. We spent our first night at Thousand Island Lake, which was about seven miles from the trailhead. We stayed at Gem Lake for a second night, which was only about 8 miles from Thousand Island Lake. On our last day, we walked about 9 miles back to Agnew Creek Campground to conclude our trip. We parked at the Mammoth Mountain Ski and Resort area. We got there a little early, so we had time to eat some breakfast and buy our shuttle tickets. The shuttle costs about $15 for a round trip ticket. In most cases, this is the only option to get into the park, unless you want to arrive super early or super late. Otherwise, you can't really get your vehicle on the road during their normal operating hours. All right. <laughs> Just we took some time to admire some sweet horses on our road to the trailhead. We're just starting. We have about seven miles until we actually get to our campground. This should be an easy hike though. I hope. We got to our trailhead and we're pretty at peace with the wilderness around us. While the trail was decently shaded, we still took some time to put on some sunscreen and hydrate and just prepare for the day ahead of us. This was my summer in the Sierras, and I knew I had to protect my skin from the harsh UV rays coming at me. We took another break to hydrate again and have a quick snack.
Our destination for today was Thousand Island Lakes. I saw a fat pancake looking mushroom next to a tree. Ahead of me I saw a potential campsite for a third night if we wanted to stay an extra day. It looked like people stayed there the night before and it was just good to have in the back of my mind on the off chance that we'd be really tired day three. We stopped for lunch at around noon. I fixed up a dehydrated mac and cheese and a three bean chili stew. I think it was alright. Uh, my face doesn't look too impressed, but I do remember being happy to eat. Feeling the increase of altitude, I could tell we were nearing Thousand Island Lakes. We reached a pretty peaceful mini lake before we got to our final destination and we even saw a snake in the water. Once we got to the lake, we saw that we had to walk about uh, a quarter mile to get to a place that we can actually camp at. I'd also like to point out that I didn't experience any mosquitoes or any other bugs at the campsite, which was a pretty pleasant surprise after my trip in Sequoia a month earlier. As soon as we got there, we set up our tarp and all of our camping supplies so that we can just relax for the rest of the night. I prepared some instant pho, which was actually really delicious at the end of the day, especially because it was getting super cold by this time. Which I hope that's okay. As the temperature went down, we just decided to put all our stuff away, um, our bear box in a safe location a little far away from our tent, and to pack it in for the night. It's still bright out too, still, but yeah. You look at the lake. I didn't really mind this because the view of the lake was still pretty spectacular from the warmth of my tarp. It was a colder night than I expected for a 28 degree sleeping bag, but I made it through okay. As soon as we got up, we packed up our things and prepared for our hike for the day.
We took many long glances and uh, romantic strides by the lake, but we knew we had to move on and continue with our adventure. The first part of today's hike was a long uphill climb over this uh, mountainside to the other side. The top of this pass was marked by a small lake, which we briefly admired. We ran into some fat looking king bully mushrooms and we were really tempted to eat them. But we decided to let them go. We also caught sight of a dam which was part of Wow Lake. Water was pretty plentiful on this trail and we never thought about running out because we were almost always near a lake or by a river. Once we got to our campsite, I immediately boiled some water because apparently we were more hungry than we were tired. If that's close to the meteor. But soon after that, we decided to uh, set up our tarp and everything else. I had to walk down to this lake just to see how majestic it was. It really was one of the most majestic and ideal camping spots I've ever stayed at. Not only was it next to a huge body of water in an amazing mountainous area, but I don't think I saw any other campers near us within at least a quarter of a mile. Just like last night, we decided to pack it in a little early and enjoy the views from our tarp. We woke up fairly early in the morning because we knew we would either have a 9 mile hike to do this day or uh, maybe 5, 4 mile hike um, to another campground, but we were aiming to be completely done with this hike today. We had a curious visitor in our campsite this morning who just wanted to say hi and see how we were doing. We got all packed up and were ready to go. This would be the longest of the day hikes we've had so far, but a little more than half it would have been downhill. And overall, I think the total elevation gain for the whole nine miles is about a thousand feet, which is not too bad at all. Is it? 
At some point, Audrey's blisters on her feet started to get pretty bad, and we knew that we had to kind of slowly get out, but definitely finish the hike today. Once we saw the ranch, we knew we were in the clear and out of the trail. From here, it was a waiting game to see when the next shuttle would show up and if there was enough space in it for us. I actually lost my shuttle ticket to get back, so I had to pay with cash um, on the shuttle. And once we arrived back in Mammoth Lakes, that is where our adventure ended, and we were headed back on a long drive to Southern California. <laughs>